Hello, in this video, we are looking at this um, amoxicillin capsules, IP is Indian Pharma Pharmacopoeia, what is it? So this is amoxicillin 250 it says, so there is 250 mg of amoxicillin in this. So this is an antibiotic, antimicrobial, very commonly used, right? Capsule. The capsule looks like this. I kind of squeezed it. Okay, let me open it. So this is how it looks inside. It has a lot of powder white powder inside 250 mg of penicillin is i mean amoxicillin is there in this i will taste it and tell you how it goes doesn't have any much taste actually it's kind of tolerable okay it's just like some powder so it is an antibiotic it's a beta lactam antibiotic that means it has a beta lactam ring is it so it is a semi synthetic penicillin extended spectrum penicillin you can see amoxicillin is here under amino penicillins okay other close relatives are ampicillin and something else just remember ampicillin and amoxicillin very common so amoxicillin is here so basically these are like extended spectrum right they have effect on gram positive and gram negative so mainly gram positive remember and then extending to gram negative so here you can see the beta lactam ring right this is the penicillin beta lactam ring they have so the beta lactamase can cut this right that is why along with this uh, penicillin right they also give you a um, clavule what is it potassium clavulinate clavulinate they'll give you why so that this is a beta lactamase inhibitor so the uh, beta lactamase cannot cut the penicillin right it will work on something else not on the amoxicillin so amoxicillin will still remain powerful so amoxicillin remember very commonly given for even h pylori infection even uh, uh, pre-surgical prophylaxis etc right so um, it is causing less diarrhea right and um, what else can you see as a difference between ampicillin and amoxicillin remember guys the original penicillin comes from fungus okay but this one is semi-synthetic semi-synthetic it is it's it's not like that natural fungus one so um, look at this i like this combination amoxicillin clavulinic clavulanic acid plus lactobacillus because you know this will stop the diarrhea from happening the lactobacillus so it will not kill the good bacteria right the good bacteria you kind of adding it back so this is a good combination is what i understand when you're taking amoxicillin okay remember to give test dose okay anyways they are saying you can give oral or you can give im even slow iv okay but you have to give test dose remember because this is an antibiotic penicillin penicillin synthetic semi-synthetic penicillin okay so thrice daily is what they are saying so this is very commonly prescribed so please know everything about it it is completely absorbed it causes less diarrhea which is good right and um, uh, uh, it is active against penicillin resistant streptococcus pneumoniae also and hence what they are saying most physicians will give this uh, for bronchitis okay just remember bronchitis touch bronchus here bronchitis urinary infections yeah that is it should be susceptible remember if it is susceptible they will give this and say what is say bacterial endocarditis right gonorrhea which are sexually transmitted diseases so it, they are giving it for so many things right and we, we also told you about the h pylori the which causes a lot of uh, peptic ulcer okay in the triple drug therapy they are giving this some interaction that you should know is uh, with oral contraceptives okay it is not that much as ampicillin but yes you can just remember that so it can lead to failure of contraception which is like 
you should be very careful then when you are giving it along with oral contraceptives remember this is safe even in pregnancy so they give it a lot in pregnancy amoxicillin right i mean not a lot but yeah if it is required they do give um, amoxicillin it is safe for pregnancy just remember in one more classification this amoxicillin comes we already told you drugs for peptic ulcer anti h pylori drugs so if the person has h pylori in the stomach right then you will give h py anti h pylori drugs if it is causing peptic ulcer amoxicillin with other uh, drugs okay it's the triple drug therapy etc are there so they are going to give amoxicillin with another proton pump inhibitor and another uh, antimicrobial looks like right? and uh, this is uh, what i what i what i wanted to tell you is used very um, widely even in pregnancy it can be given it is given to treat urinary tract infections uh, uh, bronchitis and uh, to treat h pylori peptic ulcer then uh, gonorrhea am i missing anything else bacterial endocarditis also they are saying you can give okay